Okay, how often should you take a gel? I promise you, from the bottom of my heart, this is the fastest way to get faster. And it's also one of the most overlooked areas of people's game because they think about the training, maybe they think about the weights, they think about the faster stuff. They definitely, if you're training for a marathon and the further you go, the more nutrition comes into it. If you're training for a marathon, you're probably doing the long stuff and the endurance and stamina. What you're probably not doing and you might be overlooking and it's just a game changer for your entire race, but also your training as well, which I'll come on to. How often should you take a gel? So first of all, we, know, we now know that you can take 80 to 100 grams of carbohydrate per hour. Eloy Kipchoge is taking between 95 and 105 grams of carbohydrate. If you think of how the stomach works when we're running, it's moving up and down. It's difficult for it to take in carbohydrate and then you get that to the muscles as energy. It's easier if you're on the bike, if you're cycling and your stomach's quite still, quite stable, it's easier to take more carbohydrate in. Slightly different for cross country skiers. The stomach is more stable than it would be for a runner, but less stable than it is for a cyclist. A cyclist is very still. So what as a runner we can get in is 80 to 100 grams. For me, the sweet spot is 80 grams of carbohydrate. And when I looked into this area and seriously began to consider it, what I realized was, first of all, I rated myself out of 10, which is what I always do with these things. And I looked at it and I thought, I think I'm a seven out of 10. I spoke to a sports nutritionist, and it's embarrassing that I had to do that. I spoke to a sports nutritionist, and I was running under 230 at the time, and I said, oh, you can be taking at least double the amount of carbohydrate. I was taking a gel every 40 minutes because, because, drum roll, that's what it says on the back of the packet. It says you can take one during exercise every 40 minutes. That's a gel with 25 grams of carbohydrates and 100 calories. So that meant that if I was taking one every 40 minutes, I was having 37.5 grams of carbohydrate per hour and 150 calories. It at least is half of what I should be. So when I ramped up to 80 grams of carbohydrate, and I'll tell you how I got there in a second, but when I ramped up to 80 grams of carbohydrate, I was able to feel way more confident that I wasn't gonna hit the wall. I wasn't gonna, it wasn't gonna feel difficult from 25, 30 or 35K. I was able to push in the final third, in the final quarter where it usually got difficult, I was pushing and therefore taking over people. It literally felt as if I was cheating. And what that then does is you insert that into your training because you need to get your stomach used to training with the race day nutrition. This is the super important part. You can take 100 grams of carbohydrate on race day, but if you're not used to it and you don't make your stomach used to it and you're having that bioavailable and turning it into energy for the muscles, then you're not going to be able to use it and it's just gonna be sloshing around in your stomach. It's gonna make you feel bad and then you'll think, Lots of nutrition or lots of carbohydrates equals bad performance when that's not the case. You've got to gradually get there. So I didn't go from 37 grams of carbohydrate to 75 and then 80 grams of carbohydrate. I went from 37 grams of carbohydrate to 45 grams to 50 grams to 60 grams to 70 grams and then to 75 and then to 80 grams very, very gradually so that I wasn't taking on too much in my stomach that I was able to train my stomach just as you're training your muscles just as you're training your heart and lungs to deal with the load of marathon running or half marathon running, depending on what your times, it's so important to take. Right now, if I'm running a half marathon, I'll take a gel at 20 minutes and a gel at 40 minutes and a gel at an hour. And hopefully I'm finished before the fourth gel. But if it's in a marathon, it's from 20 minutes and I'm also factoring in the warm up. So if you've been warming up for 10 minutes, include that in the time that you need. So that might be your first gel after 10 minutes, but you've got to get to that point. So first of all, try to work with, okay, where am I right now? How many grams of carbohydrate are you currently taking per hour? Is it when you think about it? I came across a thread today, which was why well, I had problems with my stomach and it's GI problems. And therefore I've changed my gel to Morton, which is a great brand that back me. And they have a hundred gel with 25 grams of carbohydrate. So one every 20 minutes is 75 grams of carbohydrate. Or they have 160 gel, which is 40 grams of carbohydrate, which means in, 
in reality, you can take one every 30 minutes, but are you able to train with that so you're able to handle it every 30 minutes? That's much easier on the bike to take 40 grams of carbohydrate every 30 minutes than to do it whilst running. But if you train with it, it means that you're able to carry less gels with you when you're doing your race, when you're doing your half marathon or your marathon. Some people, if they're gonna be out there for four hours, it's a lot of gels and therefore it's a lot of grams and you've gotta carry it around. You gotta make sure none of them split and therefore you've got, you know, you've got gel all over your hand. You've got to plan this and work with it and train with it because that's what you want to do in the race. So for me initially, 50 grams of carbohydrate, so a gel every 30 minutes, and that was new to me, and I felt the energy difference from, 30, super windy here, I felt the energy difference from 37.5 grams to 50 grams, which is a 33% increase. And so once I got to 60 grams, and I was like, oh, okay, this, this is a big difference in the feeling when I'm training. So when I'm doing my interval session, I'm coaching my body, my stomach, to take in that level of carbohydrate and use it as energy for the muscles. When I'm doing my long run, especially specific long runs, but all my long runs, I'm able to go out there and push because I'm training my stomach to take in that level of carbohydrate, to get it used, and then it, then it frees me up in my head knowing that I can really push on interval day, I can really push on long run day because not only am I getting the energy, and this is the key point, not only am I getting the energy, I'm also not breaking down the muscles to the extent that I would be without that level of nutrition. So even the difference of, okay, it's pretty good, one gel every 40 minutes to one gel every 20 minutes and 80 grams of carbohydrate per hour, that difference means that you can go harder on interval day once you've got the stomach used to it and making it bioavailable for you. You can go harder on interval day and you can go harder or longer on long run before your fatigue, before that sort of accumulated fatigue kicks in and you need to sort of call it a day. So it means for me, it's performance and you can go faster for longer without that thought in your head of, I'm gonna hit the wall, I'm, not, I'm gonna blow up, I'm not gonna be able to finish this. Because if you remove that possibility that the wall exists and yeah, you might say it's mental, it's also, it's also a real thing that if you run out of glycogen, you'll know about it and it's very difficult to move forward. And you might try to sort of damage control and get to the end, but it's not going to be pretty and it's not, certainly not gonna be optimal. Why not? If you're putting in all the hours to your training, all the hours in the gym, all the hours on the treadmill sessions, all the hours in the interval sessions, all the hours in the long runs, you're being disciplined in the recovery runs and easy runs, you're doing everything sleep, stress, work is in the right place, and then you're gonna miss out on gels and carbohydrate per hour because you've not, not done your research or watched the right video. I promise you the biggest gain that you can possibly get now if you're training for a half marathon, marathon or ultra marathon, is to get your nutrition game dialed in, race day nutrition, to a point where you're running with 80, 90, or 100 grams of carbohydrate per hour. And I promise you, it will give you confidence that you, there is no wall that you're gonna hit because you're constantly looking after your stomach. And it will also give you more super compensation, more improvement from your midweek intervals and your weekend long run and a faster recovery because you've not got the same extent of muscle breakdown. Super important, and I promise you, that is gold, and it was for me.